Hello, today I'm going to tie the JP Crayfish, a fly that I designed using fox fur for the claws and rabbit strip for the legs. The thread I'm using is the Simplify Nano Silk 18 odd white. The hook is a Mustad 75 AP streamer hook size 2. Start the thread behind the eye about a quarter of the way back and wrap along the entire length of the straight portion of the hook and bring it back to the starting point and trim the tag. I'm going to use a 0 0.025 diameter lead wire. Take a piece of the wire and fold it over the botkin. Place it underneath the hook between the thread and wrap it parallel to the hook shank along the threaded area. Trim the ends and build up the thread. Wrap the thread behind the eye. Next, tie in the golden brown grizzly marabou tips behind the eye as the tail. Secure along the weighted portion of the hook and trim the excess. Build up the thread, whip finish and add head cement. Next, take a dozen or so strands of gray fox guard hairs. Remove the under fur, even the tips and secure on top of the hook so the tips are past the bend of the hook or the antenna. Trim the excess and build up the thread. Next, take the quarter inch brown scud back and trim the end into a point and secure it along the top of the hook to the base of the antenna and build up the thread. Next, Split the thread, wax, and add brown ice dub loosely. Add the dubbing twister and spin and brush out the dubbing. Add the hackle plier. Wrap the dubbing tight to the scud back into a ball shape and secure by the thread and trim. Pick out the dubbing and bring the thread tight to the dubbing and fold it over the scud back and secure tight to the dubbing and wrap forward 5 to 6 wraps and bring the scud back back to the dubbing and secure. Next, take the pre-made mono eyes, measure and secure on each side of the left and right along the edge of the lead wire. Have the eyes slightly past the dubbing and trim the butts into a taper. Build up the thread and add head cement. Next, split the thread, wax and add brown ice dub loosely. Add the dubbing twister, double over the thread and spin. Brush out the dubbing, add the hackle plier and wrap the dubbing forward into a ball shape secure. Trim the excess and pick out the dubbing. Next, take a section of the gray fox fur, trim into two equal sections with the guard hairs and the hide attached. Trim the hide, remove the excess guard hairs and comb out the short under fur. Measure the length, you want it slightly past the antenna, secure and trim the excess into a taper on both sides, build up the thread and whip finish. Next, split the thread, wax, and add the brown ice dub loosely. Add the dubbing twister, double over the thread, spin, brush it out, and switch it over to a hackle plier. Wrap the dubbing tight to the fox fur and wrap forward edge to edge and secure by the thread. Trim, whip finish, and pick out the dubbing. Fold over the scud back and secure five to six wraps going forward Fold the scud back back, secure and whip finish. Next, split the thread, wax and add natural brown rabbit strip fur in between the thread. Trim the hide, spread out the fur and try to keep the trim butts as close as possible to the thread to get the longest length. Add the dubbing twister, double over the thread, spin and brush out the fur. 
and switch over to a hackle plier. Wrap the fur forward edge to edge and secure by the thread and trim the excess and bring the thread back to the base of the fur. Web finish and brush out the fur. Next, fold the scud back over the rabbit fur and secure forward edge to edge 8 to 10 wraps and fold it back to the rabbit fur. Secure and wrap the thread forward. Next, take the fine copper wire, double it, and secure it underneath the hook, and twist it with a shepherd's hook tool or something similar. Build up the thread, whip finish, and add head cement. Next, split the thread, wax, and add brown ice dub loosely. Add enough dubbing to cover the rest of the hook. Add the dubbing twister, double over the thread and spin. Brush out the dubbing and wrap edge to edge along the threaded area of the hook and secure in front of the tail. Trim the excess and build up the thread. Next, brush out the dubbing and fold the scud back over the dubbing and secure in front of the tail and trim the excess. Build up the thread and web finish. Next, pull the dubbing tight to the body and wrap the twisted wire around the body a slight angle evenly spaced and secure in the space behind the tail and trim the excess. Build up the thread, whip finish and pick out the dubbing. Next take the ultra fine brown dubbing and secure it on top of the thread and wrap it over the threaded area behind the tail to cover the wraps. Pull the tail back and secure the thread behind the eye, whip finish, add head cement and brush out the fly. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the like button to see more fly tying videos.